let's do the damn thing what's up everyone aj writes crypto here glad to have you on this beautiful tuesday morning it's actually getting nice out outside just a, a little bit i went to start my motorcycle went to start my bike and nothing nothing battery dad we got ourselves a dead battery ladies and gentlemen and it's okay i uh i got i got i got the I got tools i got tools my dad's my dad's a tv repairman um not actually i'm just quoting jeff spicoli what's up everybody uh I, jason owen you're right on the money there the weather is nice the charts not so much and we you know we have been looking at shorts i've been targeting a lot of shorts you know obviously this is this is uh this is what happens right now um, I, I don't think this is the uh, apocalypse or anything like that. I feel like, you know, when everything pumps, you know, 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 plus percent, we're going to see some sort of retest. It's a matter of, you know, where the real reversal happens, where can we sneak in scalps, where can we, uh, you know, kind of extract value from the market, right? You know, it is it is that simple, you know, so definitely going to look into a lot of charts here today. On today's show, I want to go heavy into charts. I had some charts written down that I didn't get to get to yesterday. Uh, covered all the things. Dips happen. It's literally a part of the game, 100%. We will look into that for sure. want to give a shout out to everybody in the chat. We have the Glitter Queen, Jason Nolan, Brian Bootyhead, Jeff Rig, Don, Eric, uh, Gandalf, Green, Karen Harris, Marsh, Kenan Henson. Wait, where's Chauncey? Everybody, where, where's where's my best friend? Where is he? Where's Chauncey Peppertooth? Where's my where's my friend? I'm sad. I'm very upset right now. This is this is unfortunate. All right, all good. Chauncey, he'll get here when he gets here. It's it's okay. No big deal. So quick update, quick little little tiny teeny bit of housekeeping. Uh, so Ben and I, instead of me doing the normal morning show, we are doing our own show that is just trading. Yes, I'm very excited about that because, you know, there's a lot of things on the other show and I'm not sure like, when do I go? When do I stay? When do I leave? You know, and it is, you know, but they're, they're working it out. You know, time takes time. They're building a new thing. It's not easy to do. Uh, but he was just like, I, I have an idea. Let's just do our own trading show. And I was like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, that's going to be fun. Obviously, we're going to talk trades. We're going to show positions we're in we're going to take trades from the audience sort of like i do on this show and uh it, it's going to be good i'm really looking forward to it i'm really looking forward to it um great buy opportunity maybe 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 not quite yet but maybe we will we will take a look at that for sure also i do want to say uh shout out to main sponsor of the show femex uh femex has been amazing i love doing all my trading on there i've been doing you know my alpha chat on femex pulse Femex Pulse is also a point of contact for anybody in the Telegram group for questions or if they just want to send me an email, that works too. I uh, did post some trades in there last night. Worked out pretty good. Also posted my first three positions and like a rundown video in the Telegram group yesterday. Uh, that seems to be going good already. Basically, uh, for the Telegram group, there will be, you know, trading setups, strategies, idea every day. And then, you know, probably, you know, three to four days a week, there will be like lesson type videos. Um, they will either be posted directly on Telegram or they will be private linked to YouTube's videos that only people in the Telegram group will have access to. So um, and then there will also be videos that I make that the Telegram group will get early access to. And then a week later, everybody else will get to see them kind of stuff like that. So. Big shout out to uh, everybody that's already in the Telegram group. I'm super, super bullish on it. It's going to be amazing. It's, it's I mean, we've already, you know, got, I think, you know, over 30 some people in there, which is pretty awesome. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's not, I don't expect a thousand people to be there in the first week. These things take times. And, uh, you know, it's a, I'm, I'm uh, just willing to put the work in. And I, you know, this is basically work I already do, you know, but for myself, I'm just sharing it with other people now. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So if you want uh, any information about the Telegram group, just send me an email to ajalphagroup at gmail dot com, or um, or message me in the the Pulse chat. Whatever, I, I think an email would be better because Pulse chat kind of blanks out somebody's name sometimes and stuff like that. So, um, Frosty Divine, AJ, you should write a book on how to trade. I'd buy that. Well, guess what? I'm writing a book on how to trade. I, it's already been done, been been written. It's you know, not all the way, but I'm right. It's happening. Uh, it's coming. Um, portfolio ratings. We I am doing portfolio ratings today. If anybody wants a portfolio rating, I will save those for the end of the show. 
Can you give a QNT price prediction off the dome? No, <laughs> I don't feel like it, bro. Um, nah, you know, minimum, minimum thousand, minimum thousand, dude. I'm on my show. What do you do? God, AJ, you're so freaking tall, man. I hate this crap. This is why people think I'm short. I'm not short. He's no, you're one inch taller than the average American man, right? Uh, yeah, one inch, uh, one inch taller. Uh, <clears throat> Guys, uh, what's going on? Uh, we got really big announcements on the show today. We're real excited about things. I, I told them about the trading show. So I'm proud to announce right now something that you don't know. We're doing a trading show. Oh, oh, oh. hey, the iPad. Where's your today? Um, she she has to edit photos. Just she she's editing photos. Just be honest. I'm serious. Be honest, she's a photo. She, no. She got hit by a bus. She's dead. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. That went morbid pretty quick. Um, yeah, that, that got pretty sad pretty fast. Sorry about that. I'm undercaffeinated. Mm. Jade always says, you just drink your coffee on the show so people see Morty on the bottom of the cup. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Glitter Queen's in the chat. We can confirm she's alive. The one day I don't come in. LOL. That's hilarious. Okay. Going to keep it rolling. Big shout out to my good, good friend, Ben, Ben Armstrong, uh, man. Hey, we've, we've just been like planning. So I have a, um, a whiteboard over here that you guys can't see like to do, to film coin watch, stuff like that. But, but Ben's whiteboard is like three of these walls. It's like, you know, it's the whole fucking wall, right? It's like the whole wall. And, um, I, I will say, I will say that uh on that wall is every idea of all the things and all the segments and all the shows and we have just been brainstorming non-stop on you know what would be cool if we did blah 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 and that's literally what we're doing like we have all this room here like there i don't I'll, maybe i'll give you like a walkthrough of this new office one day but you know it's like my office ben's office j change a podcast room and then there's just all this open space where we don't have anything yet. You know, we're going to build a bunch of sets in that spot and then like his rooms all the way, in, his sets all the way in the back. So I'm really excited to, to uh, kind of create this new thing here. It's, a, it's absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. Um, We have Gigaspud. Oh, I know Gigaspud. That name, that's one of my Telegram members. Uh, AJ, thanks for your call on my run. Already paid for my membership. Get it, people. AJ is the fire, 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 fire. Hey, hey, what can I say? What can I say, everybody? It's like it's like I've been full time crypto for like well over three years or something. It's it, it's as if I've written three hundred and fifty plus scripts for Bitboy. You know, it's like I wrote half the curriculum for BitLab Academy. It, 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 it's like I do this. It's as if I do this. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But let's prove it. Let's talk about it. I'm not going to rest on the laurels here. Let's take a quick look at the market here. I do really would like to um, take a really, really long look at CoinGecko right now to kind of so much room, so much room for activity. Um, uh, oh, my God, someone unsubscribed because one of my best friends came on my show. Oh, good job. Um, Bic Bitcoin. All right. 60 in the 62,000 range. Wow. Ethereum slowing down a little bit, but not slowing down that much. There's so much hype. For the Ethereum ETF, a story that we will get into on the show. Um, but Ethereum is kind of holding, you know, at least I would say I would like to see Ethereum hold 3,000. It is down 20% on the week. But I know the, uh, the hype for the Ethereum ETF, you know, obviously big narrative. Solana Short talked about that yesterday. Um, totally, totally played out. Uh, amazing. BNB still above 500. Actually surprised to see that, um, you know, Avalanche still above 50. And here's the thing, like when you, we, we talk about these bleed outs like this, this is really something I want you guys to focus on. When we look at these corrections, th there's a couple different segments of coins we want to talk about. There are the coins that are getting wiped, just getting wrecked, losing support resistance levels, just blood in the streets, not good. But then there's coins that are really holding a lot of that value from some of the recent pumps up, you know, and, and those coins you want to consider, like, am I trying to target the coins that are getting wiped harder or am I want to, am I trying to target the coins that are holding that value? Cause maybe the coins that are holding that value obviously have more juice left 
in the rocket ship, right? So we, we do have to differentiate that. And we'll also, once we get to the technical analysis part of this, right now we're kind of doing fundamental analysis. When we get to the technical analysis, we'll really zoom in on which projects are worth targeting right here, right now. And I do have them already picked out in my mind. I'm just not going to tell you yet. We're in the beginning of the show, everybody. Calm down. All right. So TonCoin chilling out a little bit. I mean, I remember TonCoin hung out at $2.20 for five years. Uh, Matic back down to 93. Near, see near, still at 659. Kind of holding that value, right? Kind of keep an eye out for that. Um, render 1110, holding that value. It's only down 0.04 on the week. Look at everything else it's down 20% on the week. Render's holding up. Okay, put a star next to render, everybody. Uh, the graph, you know, thir about 39 cents. Am I very sad about the graph? Yes. Does my portfolio fluctuate eight to ten thousand dollars at a time because of how big my graph bag is? Yeah, it does. But I am holding it minimum for one year. I'm not playing this your short-term capital gain game. I'm holding my big giant bags for at least a year and I'm just going on the roller coaster. And that's just a part of the game. Uh, like I said, there are two schools of thinking, two schools of thinking. One school of thinking is that the Bitcoin, the, the bull run came early. The bull run came early and 25 is a bear market. I don't subscribe to that school of thinking. The second school of thinking, which is my school of thinking is that Although there was an, uh, a massive injection of money from the Bitcoin ETF that you know poured billions of dollars into crypto, I still feel like the halving cycle has not let us down. Has the halving cycle let us down? No, it hasn't. Whatever the price of Bitcoin is at the halving, multiply it by four, 18 months later, a year and a half after the Bitcoin halving, we get the top. We get the top. So I feel that that is still the narrative. Just because an ETF added more money in doesn't mean that the having cycle is not going to happen like the way the market is cyclical. I'm sticking to that school of thinking. And I want to keep that in mind with my long-term portfolio settings. This is a question that someone already asked me from the Telegram group. They said, AJ, I mean, I, I really glad. Thanks for the trades you just posted. They're, they're winning. But how long do I hold this thing for? How long do I hold this trade for? Good question. Good question. So, it really depends on the time frame of the chart. If I'm posting a 12 minute chart, that's not a trade you're going to hold for months. If I'm holding a two hour chart, you know, that's probably something you're going to hold for a couple of days. And if I'm posting a daily chart, that could be something you're holding for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. So kind of going off the time frames, but it's also about the strategy of the trade. Because if one person has $10,000 and they want to get to 50 and one person has 5,000 and they want to get to 100,000, we're going to have two completely different strategies. So we do have to keep that in mind. All right. So uh hey you remember i remember <laughs> i remember oh man that's like one of my favorite episodes of south park ever aj would you throw 3k in memes yeah but not those three um i would rather put th i would probably just put 3k in bonk um and maybe not now i have to look at the chart uh, Lee F. AJ, the ETF money isn't going into alt. Remember that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Institutional money that are buying a Bitcoin ETF isn't going into alt, but you're, you're missing the crucial piece of the puzzle here that bi a Bitcoin ETF legitimizes a spot ETF, mind you, legitimizes the crypto industry. And it's the step one of you know, full adoption. I'm not going to go on a big giant adoption run here, but, but remember that if we get to mass adoption, I'm pretty sure a Bitcoin spot ETF would be probably the first, the first step on that. And of course, when people make money in Bitcoin, they take profits and put those into altcoins. So it's really just a big giant win for the entire industry. Uh, Andy Lee, I appreciate the chat in Femex Pulse. Thank you for the setups. I got you, Andy. No problem. All right, let's get back to our little baby market watch here. All right, so the graph, 38. I, I really do want to cry. H bar under 11. I really do want to cry. Um, v chain under four. Man, I really want to cry. Phantom 91 still holding up. See, Phantom still holding that value. And I think a lot of the reason for that is the big upgrade, uh, you know, with Phantom 
coming uh, spring this year. I think Phantom is kind of pushing up. Uh, I, I think it's going to hold. AJ, do you think the bull run will be in 25 or end in 24? The bull run is just getting started, my friend. Don't they, If you got... Hold on a minute, everybody. If y'all really think what we just saw was it, that was the bull run, I don't know what to tell you. I, I really... That wasn't it, everybody. Look, look, go look back in the past two bull runs and look at the injection of money into all coins when you look at cardano going from six billion to 30 billion in one month you look at uh, algorand going from 500 million to 12 billion in one month that didn't happen yet and that's going to happen again one thousand percent all right all right um let's keep it rolling i clicked the wrong tab there okay so all right let's zoom out and isolate the 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 volatility here i want to go to the gainers and the losers and that will always give us a foot to to you know which which main charts are we going to dive into obviously we want to dive into the ones that are the most volatile okay volatility is a word people are scared of until they learn how to trade um jupiter down 19 percent wait wait that's so funny that is so funny jupiter i, I am um uh, did i just put a jupiter short in the Femex Pulse chat. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did. That's right. I did. Good job, everybody. 19% Jupiter down. Love to see it. Pyth, unfortunate, 91 cents. Um, You know, I think that is and bunk and Solana. You guys see the, the trend here, right? Jupiter, Pyth, bunk, even, you know, with Solana, that, that ecosystem. Okay. So Solana taking a little tumble has caused... You know, Python, Jupiter to fall out as well. And obviously that is like connected TA. All right. So with connected TA, basically when there's a bunch of coins under a big layer one and the layer one tumbles, I am not looking for a short on Solana. I'm looking at a short on Python, on Jupiter. Okay. That, you know, you got to, you got to connect those dots here. All right. Um... Render ERC20 is going... Wait, what? Render ERC20 going to Solana is GRT on Coinbase ERC. What does that even mean? Are, is, is, are those just letters? The graph is on Coinbase. Uh, if that's your question. I'm not really sure what you're saying there. Um, I'm not in Florida now. Meta Bam Bam. I, I still live in Georgia, everybody. Calm down. Um. Okay. Eric's on the money. Eric knows exactly what he's talking about. I love to see this. All right. I'm getting distracted. All right. So we talked about connected TA. Let's keep the ball rolling. Phantom still up 7.6%. I'm telling you guys, I I, I want to go back. And, and when I made that video in Daytona, Florida at the Supercross race, Phantom was at like 40 cents, 42 cents. And when we talk about the cup and handle video, uh, Phantom was one of the ones I talked about and I mm, chef's kiss chef's kiss on Phantom and that call and Phantom TA. I mean, Phantom is a project. Here's the thing. I, this is where people get lost with technical analysis. This is where you get lost is that you don't know which chart to watch. It sounds simple, right? It sounds simple. You don't know what chart to watch because why there's so many fucking charts to watch. Okay. But I have learned over time which charts to watch. All right. And that, and that kind of goes with the repetition thing. 10,000 hours. Uh, you become an expert at anything. Um, you know, so, you know, if you don't like if you want to skateboard in the X Games, you got to spend a thousand, 20,000 hours skateboarding or don't even drop in. You know what I mean? Same thing with trading. Just because you can put money on an exchange and trade crypto doesn't mean you should be trading crypto without that experience. That's step one. Step two is when you watch certain charts over and over and over and over again, like I have watched Phantom since, you know, early, no, actually uh, summer of 2021 or maybe a little bit, maybe beginning of fall 2021. I rode Phantom last, last bull run from probably 40 cents to three bucks, something like that, something crazy. But Phantom is a coin i understand how it moves okay and when you repeat certain charts over and over and over and over you get a feel for the way it bounces the way it rejects the way it 
swings. So there are some charts that I look at and I'm just like, I don't understand this chart because I haven't watched it like I watched the phantom chart. In these groups, in the Femex Pulse in the, and, and in my Telegram group, we are going to tap phantom a lot because I understand exactly how it works and I can guarantee 5 to 15% moves on phantom if you lose lose leverage, leverage with that do the math but phantom is, is a chart that I completely understand and now that it's actually waking up with a roadmap it's going to get really good for anybody in the telegram um just start watching phantom start paying attention to it everybody this this project here is an absolute killer um and and really there's not much in the winners all right so we have aptos stacks phantom celestia all right so let's let's definitely i need to write these down i don't have a notepad one second one time one time somebody offered me i think three thousand dollars for my notebook and i said no no you can't have my notebook no way sir no way you're crazy all right, let me write these charts down. I, I do want to look at Jupe and Pyth. Those are two I want to look at, or Pith, as I used to call it as a joke. APT, STX, FTM, NTIA. Maybe we'll look at ton coin question mark if we have time. Okay, I do want to look, isolate that volatility. All right, wait. Hey, Chauncey's here. Chauncey, we talked about you, and you're late today. You are late, my friend. I mean, I, do I need to find a new best friend, Chauncey? Do I need to find a new best friend? <laughs> Is AMP pumping right now? Okay, let's look at it. Cool. Um, share this tab instead. Actually, I want to come back to that one because that's a, that's a good one. One second, everybody. And as we're right here looking for a chart and you're just looking at my face being kind of quiet... Um, why don't all 284 of you do me a quick favor, smash the like button if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am aware, I am aware that around 25% of the people that watch this show every day do not follow. Why? Why? Come on. Come on. Thoughts on red uh the mal um i'll i'll look at it i'll put it all on the list the list the list the list um mo mr mojo rise and about seven thousand hours into his crypto journey close to becoming an expert i love it i absolutely love it thank you for the follow meta bam bam uh yeah what what the f bro what the f yeah smash the likes all right let's do this boom all right, this is AMP by request per the chat. All right, let's zoom out and zoom in on this one. Let's do proper TA here. Oh, not that one. Let me scroll this down. Let me make it look nice for everybody, okay? Let me make it look nice at least. So this was on the cup and handle list. So you see see this bullshit right here? This means that AJ has been here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I just show up on a chart, I destroy it, and I walk away, and I never come back to it. And then someone will ask to see it, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I did that chart. And this was one of the ones that, you know, had a weird cup and handle. And I will also say that uh, I would actually consider this. Let me remeasure. Let me remeasure this bad boy here. So let me pull this down because this was one of the ones that had a, a kind of like a crooked, a crooked double handle. I would consider. We talked about this in on the video is like cup handle or, you know, there's also the cup and then the second breakout here so that was discussed and you guys also need to know that you know sometimes chart patterns aren't perfect okay it, it's not going to be goldilocks every single time okay uh but my point here is that you at least got to to find the measured move and go from there so as you can see uh this thing already well surpassed the measured move well surpassed the measured move you know I mean, we're talking 112% to current price in a month. Uh, also, notable level of the measured move is that if you go back here on the chart, you see this level back there on the left there? When you draw this across, holy shit, look at that. The measured move went to the top 
to exactly a support resistance level. That that is charting for you, everybody. That when you start seeing connections like that, that's when things start to make sense. The chart's trying to tell you something. Okay, listen to the heart of the chart. My point here is that, and look, it even got you know this support resistance level right there. You know, the support resistance is a very beautiful thing. Anyway, so AMP went all the way to oblivion. I mean, AMP went to what you know two and a half cents almost. It's just above one penny now. So obviously, I, I feel like AMP is a, a lot of times what will happen is when a chart wicks up like this and then comes down, eventually it will work its way past that previous wick if we're technically in a bull run. So, you know, do definitely watch this. And I, I, I would bet my bottom dollar AMP will eventually get above it. Uh, but we are looking at a four hour chart in case you were wondering. And, you know, so what we're going to do here is we're going to ignore the the big wicks and we're going to draw a trend line like this, okay? And what you're gonna do here is, this is a four hour chart, you are going to set an alarm on this trend line right here. Because when this trend line breaks out, that is when you will you know, bounce off that and actually move, okay? Like 69% of the time we break out of triangles, something like that, or 67% of the time. And also this level here is the is the cup and handle support resistance level. So really, those are the two levels you want to watch. So at 0081, that would be the, if we hit this level, we should bail level. And then this trend line here, this would be your breakout level, okay? So that's like that's more of a macro move. Let's zoom in and, uh, oh, and that was off the four hour. Let's zoom in and consider like a, something small, like a 12 minute. Um, what I will say about the 12 minute chart is that this is why we have market site for everybody. This 12 minute chart right here is why we have market cipher because look at this. Look at this confluence. Oh my God. Look at this. So the price is going down. The price is going down. Anchor wave, trigger wave, trigger wave, trigger wave, money flow crossing, momentum oscillator moving, RSI going up, confluence on a bullish divergence even on a 12 minute chart man that matters so much if you would have just went off of this idea from from right here from this one not even the second one but just from this one back here which if i would have saw this chart i would have went long right there look at this we are already talking you know eats you know 20 percent in four hours still 11 percent in six hours that that right there when i say confluence that is what I'm talking about. That is a perfect setup. But now we've had this conversation. In times of bearish continuation, we are getting rejected from the 50-day EMA. See how the price action stays below the 50-day EMA? That, you know, that's bearish. That's continu bearish continuation. Now, look at this. AMP, this is a 12-minute chart, mind you. AMP, now that we're leave, getting out of the red money flow, moving up in momentum oscillator, we are we got above the 50 and got rejected from the 200 but at least we bounced back off the 50 so it is decision time here for amp what i'm going to say is if this was me let me zoom in a little bit more just for the sake of it for sure if this was me i would consider if there's liquidity if you can find it uh this local top right here that it hit back uh, around nine o'clock in the morning, eight fifteen in the morning. That's about a seven point eight, almost eight percent away from right there. All right, and now on the seven minute, it is above the two hundred. So if you want to consider going long, and uh, with this as your target, with one zero eight or one zero seven nine, your target, that white line right there. With that being your target, if you want to go long from here. I would set a stop loss probably like right there, maybe a little shorter actually. I mean, what would that be? Yeah, that's way too far of a stop loss, excuse me. Oh, someone's calling me. <clears throat> well, it's Jada, so it must be something bad. <clears throat> One second, everybody. Oh, I'm muted. I don't, I don't know why I'm muted. I don't know why.
Okay, okay, okay. All right. Can you give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear me? Because I all my levels here look good. I'm not muted on my mic. I had the chart on the screen. Just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me in the chat. Okay, I, I don't know what happened there. So this is what I do. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, what I do sometimes, I, I'll just be honest about it. I change my tabs on here, and I, sometimes I'll forget to share the new tab, and that's what I did. And um, I'm very sorry about that. I, I feel very dumb, and I should feel very dumb. And I everyone said I was muted. And, one, and sometimes when I'm doing TA, I also want you guys to know this. When I'm doing TA, Sometimes my chart is covering the chat and I can't see it. And I'm like in straight locked in mode because I'm trying to like break down this chart as technically as I can. So I'm very sorry about that, everybody. Let me um, let me just refresh AMP here. So AMP, sorry about that. Uh, man, I feel stupid. AMP, local high. If you want it to go long, this level, uh, 0 0.0179, you know, almost one zero one one almost okay um if you wanted to go long for here i would set a stop loss just under the 50 ema okay it is a little scary but you don't want to set too big of a stop loss you know about 1.5 percent there if you lose uh but the money flow looks good i think it's about a seven and a half percent trade um yeah man that's what i would do but of course right as i say that it wicks the other way and this is why we use stop losses, but it's this is this fight. This chat, this chart's actually fighting. Look at this, look at this. It went in the past thirty seconds. This went this far in thirty seconds. You know what that means is that there's a lot of liquidity on this chart right now. I mean, we're talking a one percent move, a one point six percent move in. You know, it's bouncing as we speak. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you wanted to shoot for that long, you could. I would set a really tight stop loss though. I would set a really tight stop loss. Or you could you could also interpret it like this, right? The trend is your friend, okay? If we wanted to look at the short angle here. What I like is that locally, it did put in this little trend here. And also we have a little somewhat of an SR if we pull this over you know, to there from this touch and this touch, okay? So if you wanted to go short on this chart, you could aim for this with this as a stop loss and come that way, which is also a 7% move. I'm actually kind of stumped on this one right now. I don't think I would post this chart in a trading setup because it looks like it's going to pop, but it also looks like it's getting rejected as we speak. Yeah, that's a tough call, man. That's a really tough call. And to be honest, you know, you're not you're not going to nail every single trade. No one does. No one does. But you know, when I straight up am unsure of a chart, this is when I don't get impatient. This is when I will say, you know what, I'm just going to keep a close eye on it, set some alarms, watch it. Um, and, and you know, this is obviously a very, a very big lesson. It's a very big lesson is first of all, I feel very dumb, very dumb about not doing that. Damn. I feel stupid. Secondly, trading, you are battling yourself just as much as you battle the charts. And you know, I, I cannot tell you how many times I've talked myself out of a good trade or I opened a good trade and it starts a little wonky and I'll lose like I'll be down like $50 and I'll close the trade and then I'll go away. And three hours later, I was totally right about the trade and I got out at the worst spot because I talked myself out of it. So these are the reasons why, first of all, with trading, you have to be super patient and you have to be. It's not even about being patient. It's about trusting that you see what you see, okay? Because, you know, you can really, you can lose one trade, one trade, and talk yourself in, I'm the worst trader in the world. Oh my God, I suck at everything, la da 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 Or you could just be like, mm, that was one trade, whatever. That's why, that's why I use risk management. That's why, you know, no big deal. So, um... Stanford Mind Co LLC ten dollars super chat. Hey, thanks for the ten dollars, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, what up, buddy? I found found you on the old show, but I really do enjoy the new channel and respect the work you put in. Keep up the good work. Hey, man, I really appreciate that. Thank you. 
Um, man versus machine. <laughs> Meta Bam Bam, you killed me with that. That's actually very funny. All right. So I, I think um, with the, my uh, my chart malfunction there, I really think, I honestly really think that that was God telling me to never trade AMP. And that's probably what I'm going to do. All right. Let's take a look at these volatile charts from Coin Market Cap. So we have Jupe. Jupe was down big. Jupe was down big time. I want to make sure you guys see the chart this time. Oh, there it is, Jupe. All right. And this is what happens. This thing absolutely ripped up. Actually, you can see AJ has been here. Oops, I didn't mean to draw that. You can see clearly AJ has been here. You see all this just, just crazy, stupid scribble. That means I've been here before. And as you can see, I drew this level. And once we break out of this level, you go long. Okay. And that is certainly what happened there. Uh, how good did it, how, how, how well did we call this one here? I mean, we're talking 200% 20 days. Not bad, AJ. Not bad. All right. So here's the thing though. Now it's on its way down the street. And the problem is there isn't much for support resistance. If you want to go for this old wick here, you could, if you want to zoom in to maybe a 12, a six hour chart and try to find some other source of support resistance, you could, uh, like this level here is actually very close to that other level. Uh, and there's really not much, uh, you know, and where this candle ended, I mean, there really isn't much for support resistance here. This thing also just went up and to the right, you know, it had a kind of a wonky little launch. I remember that. And then, you know, it, it started moving pretty hard. Um, classic double top, pretty classic double top, you know, slightly higher low, but you know, still in the range of a double top. And you want to know the giveaway here on the two hour chart on how you can see, could have told this is a double chop. One thing is you know here's the double time okay look at the oscillator see how it goes down how see how th these are the same up here right they're the same but this goes down and the money flow is going down and the rsi was going down guys confluence confluence okay now on the two hour chart we lost the 50 ema on a two hour two hour and now we're pushing down i would actually move this support resistance level to here to there okay now, if you wanted the short jupe, there might be another 11% you could squeeze out of it to $1.04. Or if it goes to the 200 EMA, which it could, it'll probably move over a little bit by the time it gets there. But I'll probably be like a 15% trade. It says 17, but the EMA will move by the time it gets to the 200, if it's retesting the 200 at all. Uh, man, yeah, this is a very bloody short. I will say that this little pop here had really good bullish divergence, you know, 8%, uh, you know, price coming down. See anchor wave, trigger wave, trigger wave, trigger wave. That I mean that that was a little a really, really good scalp right there. I, I get a lot of scalps from the 12 minute chart. Yeah, you know, about nine percent in one hour. That's not bad. But now, you know, if you're if you're trying to short short scalp, uh, you know, kind of same idea. Trend is your friend rejected from the EMA. Remember, bearish continuation, we get rejected from the 50 EMA, right? So now, like where can it go to locally? Okay, is it going to put up a fight? Is it going to try to reverse? It's going to double bottom. That will all be told at this level right here. That will be decided right here. And that level is at what? A dollar thirteen, a dollar thirteen six. All right. So either we are going to come here, which is a two point six percent down to that level. We're going to fall to that level and break down, or we're going to get to this level and bounce. Okay. But either way, I, I feel like that's still a pretty sure scalp. Um, two percent. You know, little baby scalp, and also consider the trend, local downtrend. Okay, this is a 12 minute chart, by the way. It it tried to break out, got rejected, and this would be support resistance levels fighting. So you know, this this is why, when in the morning, let me fix that up a little bit. In the morning, this is why we the first thing we do, we say, I you know we're gonna watch for a portfolio, right? We're gonna look at the coins that you know we hold. We're going to cry about the graph and our grant going down, but then we're going to go and try to trade some of the money back. Right. And we look at the gainers and the losers and we look at the most volatile coins in the market. This is why, because when you come to Jupe, there, this is a trade. Everybody, this is a trade. This is money waiting to be printed, waiting to be printed. I wish I was paying attention to this one. I was not. I will be honest. I don't, I cannot follow every single chart. I am one man, but we are talking a 26% drop. In a day and two hours, I mean, add that with 5x leverage. 
Add that with 10x leverage. I mean, that that's what dreams are made of, everybody. But even here, like the reason I trade with, you know, you know, three to five to even 10x leverage on very sure trades right here. I mean, this is 3% just to retest this level again. That's 3% with 10x leverage. You know, that's 30% trade. If you trade with 10,000, a $10,000 position, you just made $3,000. Three grand. Some people will go to work for a lot of hours to make $3,000, you know? So when I really feel like if people are newer to trading, this is directly to the newbies. If you are newer to trading, and, and listen, if you just want to buy and hold, that's fine. If you just want to buy and hold and wait, that's fine. But if you want to trade, if you want to enter the DGen den with your boy AJ and just trade, what I want you to do is go play poker. <laughs> I want you to play poker because when you play poker, specifically like higher stake, like five, five, ten big blinds or like two, five big blinds even, don't play one, three. One, three is meaningless. Uh, but let's say you play two, five poker, you buy in for a thousand dollars. Every hand, every hand you play, you will watch six to seven to three to one thousand to three thousand dollars just move across this table. You will watch the exchange of value just flow from one, you know, mad poker player to the next, to the guy with the, the, the sunglasses and his hood up like this, you know, like, you know, just sitting there like, that's all you get from this guy for hours, for hours and hours, just all day. Okay. But the point here is that if you're brand new to trading and you're not used to the swing of it, I want you to go play poker, okay? Because you will see the flow of money like anything you've ever seen before. That's why you have to play at a bigger table. Don't play at 1-3, play at 2-5. I know I already said that, but I, I repeat myself a lot to drive a point home, okay? So when you see that much money flow and you watch your personal chip stack, say you start at 1,000, go from 800 to 1,500 to 400 to 2,000 to back to 600, back to 4,000. Like when you see that ebb and flow, at first, you hate it. At first, it's the worst gut-wrenching. Ow, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Especially when you work a real job. When you work, you know, and you make, you know, let's say you make 1,500 bucks a week or whatever, and, and, and you ship $800 in one hand, and you're just gutted. Like, oh, no, what did I just do? Like that was Monday through Thursday or Monday through Wednesday right there. What did I just do? Like that's how it feels at first. But then you get hardened. You get callous. You stop caring. Not that you don't care, but it's, it doesn't hurt as much. It doesn't sting that bad. Yeah, whatever. That was just, you know, I got sucked out on the river. You know, I had a straight and he caught his diamond. Big deal. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, and my point here is that once you get that callous, you need that callous to trade. You need that durability, that thick skin to trade crypto. Because if you don't have that thick skin, you won't be able to stomach making real money in real trades. Because this is what happens. This is what happens. The people that are on callous, the people that don't know the ebb and the flow, they will be in a trade and they'll be like, oh my God, they'll still show their girlfriend. They'll be like, babe, look, I'm up $300. $300. And then they rationalize getting out of that trade at $300 without looking at the chart, without looking at anything. And they'll be like, oh my God, that's dinner for three nights. You know, they're, they're, they'll make up a thing in their mind about why they need that money. All right. But if you would have looked at the chart and you would have been callous and you would have known, you know, what it is here, you would have known that that trade is going to continue and you could have made $8,000, but you talked yourself out of taking 300. And this is what happens to people that don't know the ebb and the flow that aren't not that don't have that callus that don't have that thick skin you guys need to get that thick skin that is that is literally step one uh you know i i think um the my point here is i i want you to learn what it feels like to lose trading once you get that feeling and once you realize how much it sucks and then once you kind of get out of it and become a better trader it changes everything Okay, so sorry about the rant there, but it was definitely worth it. Uh, trading versus holding is close, but a different animal. No, they're not close at all. Not even. It's two different worlds. 
Two completely different worlds. Um, so you're saying I shouldn't trade emotionally. No, you should not trade emotionally, Ogre. I know Ogre, and, and he's and he's being facetious. What's up, Ogre? Good to see you, bro. Are you Ogre? Are you going to rare Evo? Thumb up or thumb down in the chat? Actually, give me everybody, not just Ogre. Yes, Ogre too, but everybody, give me a thumbs up in the chat if you're going to Rare Evo and a thumbs down in the chat if you're not going to Rare Evo. Because Rare Evo, coming up in August in Vegas, Caesars Palace, is going to be one of the best crypto conferences of the entire year. It is going to be an absolute blast. And I cannot wait, cannot wait to go. Um, man, I, it's going to be a, it's going to be the best time ever. The Glitter Queen's going. Uh, mm, mm. Um, oh, Ricky down. Ricky's down. Um, total. Oh, okay. So, but anyway, I said that to say this is that is this, this is I have been talking to the people at Rare Evo and I'm pretty sure that I can wiggle in a giveaway for one or maybe one person with a plus one for people, someone who watching this screen, if they want to, um, you know, bring their friend or bring their significant other. I'm going to try to get a, like a winner with a plus one to give away on the show. Cause I really would like to see as many people at rare Evo as, I mean, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be an absolute great time. I know uh, obviously Charles Hoskinson is going to be there. Like always, I know they already sold out 50% of the floor space, which is insane. It's only March, uh, man. I know V chain is going to be there and I'm really good friends with the people at V chain going to UFC 300 in a couple weeks, stuff like that. So, um, 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 Chauncey, maybe Chauncey will go there. Uh, but maybe, maybe I'll get a giveaway for one of you people. That'd be amazing. That would be amazing. Okay. So, sorry, I'm just reading the chat here for a second. I know there's a couple more charts I want to look at. I had a couple stories picked out, but then, you know, things happen. I'll, I'll run through a couple stories really fast. One inch integrates with Lumia. To provide more liquidity and better pricing. I've always liked one inch, and I think you know this is much needed for them. Watch out for one inch. Even if you don't use the protocol, uh ju just watch the project itself. I think it's gonna be good. Michael Saylor adds almost 9,300 new Bitcoin to his holding. I mean, this guy is just literally he's out of his mind, and I absolutely love it. Um, I do every time I watch Michael Saylor speak, I kind of feel like um, he's trying to sell me a Honda Civic. I feel like he's trying to sell me a Kia Soul, but he's still a very smart guy. And I really like what he stands for. But so when I hear him talk, I'm just like, I, I, I dude, I, I, I cannot tell you. I really don't want to buy a Ford Focus. I, I just don't want it, Michael. I'm sorry. Um, uh, what was the, okay. Solana outpaces Ethereum network activity. That's the whole story. That's it. Spot Ethereum ETF has an 85 chance of being 85% chance of being approved in May. Man, I really hope that happens. If that happens, the floodgates are absolutely open. Um, and this is another, this is another Ethereum story. Fidelity updates Ethereum and spot ETF application to include staking. Let's go. Let's go. All right quick overview i like doing quick news instead of sticking on it forever uh someone wants me to look at render in the chat and they put a bunch of stars and they even said please if, if you say please you're saying please goes a very long way with me and now we're gonna look at render i got you hey we're looking at render we're looking at it here it is okay holy shit oh did not mean to draw that cool all right well first of all this thing is ripping this thing is ripping. He said, thanks, man. But wait, you want me to look at render, right? Well, you guys, all 300 of you, make sure you smash the like button right now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or I will not look at render. Okay, let's look at render. All right, so daily chart. First thing, obviously, anchor wave, trigger wave, bearish divergence, price go up, oscillator go down. First thing I see. First thing I see when I look at the chart. That uh, equals bad, right? Bearish divergence equals bad. This is a big support resistance level. This level is at approximately $8.26. If render fell from where it is right now to that support resistance level, that'd be a 25.7% fall. Uh, will render fall that far? Maybe, maybe not. Let's zoom in and investigate. Um, so really, 
there's the only other significant support resistance level um it would be the local floor which is also lines up with this wick right here right there okay so that is really you know the only other level on the chart that will save you from this level and the problem is is that if you look at this level over here on the volume and then you come down you realize that there is basically no volume between uh you know ten ten dollars basically and eight dollars and 26 cents Another thing is that the point of control, aka the POC on the visible range volume profile indicates that a majority of the volume in the render chart actually sits below the support resistance line and is currently sitting at $7.56. Keep in mind, we're currently priced at $11.07. So, you know, there's obviously a lot of downward pressure, even, you know, momentum money wave coming down. Momentum coming down on oscillators, uh, you know, VWAP coming down. I mean, this, this is not what you really want to see here, uh, especially on, say, a six hour chart. But there is hope because, you know, technically speaking, if we zoom in a little more, you will find that when we're talking about these uh, these wicks, you know, there's, they technically have wicked up a little tiny, tiny bit. Let me make that line thicker so you can see it. You know, they have wicked up just a little bit. OK, you can see that from this wick right here to this candle to this candle they have put been putting in slightly higher lows and i mean slightly so this trend line is kind of a big hope okay also render has been kind of trading in a small chunk here okay that's also worth looking at on a two-hour chart i mean this is what what is this range a seven percent range uh seven percent range is very very small for render i know render moves very big uh, and also we got to consider, you know, has, it still has been putting in, you know, higher highs as well. So now, um, you know, since this little push up here, I would even, you could even draw it like this. We're still in, you know, kind of an upward, basically even upward channel, uh, despite it coming down. So really what I would do if you're holding render, it's kind of about, um, your goal, it's goal oriented. If you're holding it. Uh, you have already done very well if you've been holding it for a while. I, I can't tell you, you know, when to sell it. But if you want to trade render, uh, obviously the pop back up idea is 24%, but that doesn't really feel like the temperature of the market right now. Uh, what I would say is if you set alarm on this trend line here, so basically if you're on a two-hour chart, go from this little body of this candle from March 24th and connect it to, you know, March 16th, in March 19th, those wicks draw that line across and set an alarm on that level. Okay, I'll do one right now. All right, um, I, I was click this, click the line, click the little alarm clock, crossing and go once per bar, not only once, because if it only goes off once, uh, you won't know if it crosses it again. Okay, there we go. So now also I would set an alarm on this level, this level right here because that would be support resistance line. And we also talked about how this has no volume. There's no volume here. So if render loses this level and falls from here to here, we're talking a 16% win if you're shorting it. And if it goes to the point of control, we're talking a 23.4% win if you're trading it. So that's why we're also setting alarm, not just on the trend line, but on the support resistance level as well. Uh, once per bar, create. And that level is at $9.85. So basically, you have two layers of protection that are blocking render from basically free falling 16, 17%. I feel that if render loses this level, it is very likely to end up back there at that one at, you know, $8 and 29 cents. So there you go. There is your render TA. I, I, I would like to say it's just going to pump and pump forever, but I don't think that's the case. I mean, if we really zoom out and appreciate how well render has done, I am very glad I have, you know, I've been holding and buying render for a long time. Do I wish I had more? I wish I had more of everything. But if render still has done very well, even if we bought in render in August of 2023 and to its current price now, we're still talking a 757% move in 205 days. One of the best movers in crypto. And I, you know, to be fair, I have been talking about render for a very long time. Uh, it's an absolutely killer project. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Chauncey gets a wrench for sure. Chauncey gets a wrench. Um, Chauncey got his wrench, everybody. Round of applause for Chauncey. He's like my best friend. But here's the thing, Chauncey. I gave you a wrench. 
that means I have to take another wrench away because I already have too many mods. I don't like seeing the chat when it's all blue. It makes me a little bit sad. So blockchain bonehead, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, good, good job. Good job, Chauncey. You're the absolute man. Uh, Ricky Burris, my Grogger shirt should be here today. Hell yeah. Welcome to the Grogger gang. Grogger gang mod squad. Love to see it. Amazing. Chauncey's the man. He's been here. He's been here. Never late again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Great show, everybody. Got 300 people in the house right now. Make sure you smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to look at one more chart. But before I look at that one more chart, I got to talk about a thing. If you want trading setups, if you want trading strategy, okay, Femex Pulse, link down below in the description. I've been posting multiple trading setups in Femex Pulse. We are, we are almost undefeated on those positions. And we are talking, we called the, the dog whiff short before it popped up. We called a crazy phantom short that played out crazy. We called like so many trades. The Solana long from 180 to 200 plus called that one. Man, like, dude, I've been knocking them out of the park over there at on Femex Pulse. So if you want to get involved and get some positions, get some setups, get some strategies, head over to Femex Pulse. If you want more than that, if you want to take your crypto education extra seriously, super, super duper serious club, you need to come over and join my Telegram group. If you send me an email at ajalphagroup at gmail.com, we will get you signed up. It is a paid group. It's not that expensive compared to other paid groups. Uh, you know, more than half off of the paid group I used to be in. All right. And I, and that is because I don't want, uh, I would feel bad about charging $700 for six months. That that's bullshit. I'm actually only charging $360 for an entire year. And you get a, a get rich or get wrecked shirt that you cannot get unless you join the group um, for a year. So, you know, we are really cranking up that educational content. There will be stuff for beginners. There will be stuff for intermediates. And there will be stuff for experts. There will be lessons posted on Telegram or on YouTube uh, multiple times a week with trading setups and strategies. And um, every day, every day. And on Sundays, I like to take my Sundays off. But I will still post a couple setups on Sundays. And you guys know I'm a pretty, like, motivational, spiritual type person. There will be, like, a lot of kind of creativity, inspirational stuff on Sunday for you guys to chew up as well. So, um, I, you know, obviously open door to anybody who wants to get in. Of course, the, uh, it's ajalphagroup at gmail.com. If you want to sign up, send me an email. We'll get you signed up. Or if you just want to go to Femex Pulse and check out the positions over there and then realize, oh man, like these positions are really good and I'm giving even more of them away in the Telegram group. The Femex Pulse is just like the, the, the point of contact but you know, the telegram is the next layer for the people who want to take it really seriously. So there you go. Just wanted to extend that invitation to everybody. It just started yesterday. So yeah, you know, obviously I'm super excited about it. We're going to keep this going. You know, I, uh, I have a lot of time on my hands and I really, you know, this is my full-time job and I want to spend, I want to spend it helping you guys out as much as I can. So there we go. Um, 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 um. All right. So appreciate your content, bro. Um, yep. Thank you, Andy Lee. I really appreciate checking out the chat. All right. So I'm going to look at a chart or maybe two more charts, um, um, on this show here. Somebody asked, how, how do you get Femex pulse? Marsh said, so first of all, you have to sign up for Femex. I have a link right down below in the description. You sign up for Femex. Um, you do not need to KYC to sign up for Femex, but you do need Anytime you're trading crypto anywhere, even on centralized exchanges, you should be using a VPN for security reasons. All right. I mean, I, I, I can literally send you videos of hackers and I personally know hackers. And if you're not consistently running a VPN while you're make, doing financial transactions on your phone, you are at risk. And, and, that, and that's facts. Like I, I can prove that with math. All right. Um, so sign up for Femex and then you can sign up for Pulse. Both links are right down below in the description, Marsh. Love to see you in there. Love to have you. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Let's go look at Phantom as promised. Okay. When you look at the five-day chart, you kind of get an idea of a couple things. When you look at the five-day chart, um, you know, 
you get a couple ideas here. Okay. Idea number one is that Phantom is sitting on the cliff of the value area low and the value area high. Okay. So this is where Phantom used to be. This is where Phantom used to be. Okay. This is where Phantom was. And of course, it broke out of the cup and handle level, that level right there. And now, so I need to pull this down. Why is this so weird? Sorry about that. So what you can see here is you see how the volume drops off right there. Similar to my theory with HBAR, how it, HBAR, it won't take long once it gets running to run the 20 cents because there's not much here between here and here, you know, about a 40% drop, you know, and a 60% gain. Okay. Obviously the same measured move for a drop is not the same measured up for a gain. Keep that in mind. Uh, the other scary thing about this is that if phantom gets rejected from this level that, you know, from, from back here, you know, these touches over here. Okay. If phantom gets rejected from this level. It does have a far away to fall because there's nothing else to catch it. There's no, there's not much volume here. To be fair, there is a little bit of volume right here. A little bit. Okay. But not much. It's kind of a straight, it's kind of a free fall. So we really like to see phantom get above and stay above a dollar two right now it's at a dollar two it is literally sitting on the fence and i would like to say that this level on the oscillator is actually a little bit higher than this one and that is very good all right so we can't say a, a bear div is forming on the five day thank god because that would be very bad um on the three day kind of same same story same similar situation here uh obviously phantom was in the cup and handle video we got a cup we got a handle, okay? We got the breakout. Let's measure the move. Oh, let me fix this really fast. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, okay. And as you can see, Phantom just about, just about made it to the measured move, all right? We're seven, six percent away from the measured move, but this one played out completely. But now what, right? Now what? Two-hour chart still looks good for Phantom. The two-hour chart. Look at this last candle. This is why I hold so much of it. In the past, you know, six hours, we're four hours, we're talking a 17% move for Phantom. It is absolutely ripping. And look at the look at the setup. Look at the setup. Anchor wave, trigger wave, trigger. Will you see this right here? See that? That is beautiful. And then when they get progressively smaller, anchor wave, trigger wave, trigger wave. That's how you know a pump is coming. Market Cipher tells you, hey, we're about to pump. Here we come. Boom. 26% one day just from that green dot. All right. But what I'm saying here is this, is that Phantom, like I said, is sitting on a support resistance line. It's literally at, sitting on top of this support resistance line. My point here is we really need to watch this because it would really suck for it to get rejected. It has also pumped significantly in the past day. So are we thinking phantom short? Look, it's already starting to happen. You see this candle? You see this candle right here? Even on a two-minute chart? See how the body of this candle, and there's the wick of this candle with a 1.8% wick? That is called a hammer. Hammers are reversal signals. So right now, right here, right now, it might not be the worst time to short phantom. Right here, right now. Even if you just targeted it to right there. That might play out pretty well. You know, it is it is a scary it is a scary trade to just jump in. I agree. About five percent trade. It is scary. But what I would do, um, I would probably set a stop loss right at above 105. And if you're wrong, you're wrong. But it is just sitting on a support resistance level, man. That's a bit it's scary. But that's what I would do. If I was trying to get risky, take on a risky trade. I, I would short from here. I mean, yeah, that, that's what I would do. But, you know, the trend is your friend at the same time. You know, I, I personally think this kind of screams quick, quick drain out because this thing pumped up so fast. I wouldn't be surprised to see it, you know, do one of those. You know, so definitely good phantom short trade idea for you guys at the end of the show. Let me know. Let me know. Wait, what? Oh, thank God. Thank you, Marsh, signing up. 
Um, I don't know what Chauncey's talking about. Maybe he'll fill me in. Marsh is on Femex Pump Pulse. Thanks for signing up, Marsh. You're the absolute man. But everybody, I am going to peace out for the day. I have so much to do today. Got a lot to film. We still got about 250 people in the house. Thank you all so much for being here. You guys are absolutely amazing. You woke up today and said, I want to learn about crypto. And I woke up today and said, I want to teach people about crypto. And we did this thing and it was beautiful. I'm uh, un unbelievably grateful for this. Um, I am going to be posting some setups in Femex Pulse. I'm going to be you know, making content for the people at Telegram. I do have an NRG video, the founder of NRG. I interviewed him. Super, super duper nice guy. Um, he has a really interesting project. So I'm going to put this video out in about an hour here on YouTube. Um, so definitely, definitely watch that interview. And he has also has a lot of insight about the market uh, as well. So, you know, he's pretty cool dude. Uh, you guys are really going to like that interview. Um, yeah, Brandon, I'll, I'll get back to you in the email. I, I, I know what's up. All right. You guys are amazing. Sign up for the Telegram group if you haven't already. AJ Alpha group at gmail.com. I'll put it here in the chat. Even if you just want in more information on it. Alpha group at gmail.com. There it is. Send an email. Learn more about crypto. Sign up for Pulse. Do the damn thing. You guys are awesome. Maybe I will look at SWE on BitBoy Crypto. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But until then, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name's AJ Writes Crypto. Get rich. Get wrecked. Peace. Wait, didn't do red. Okay, 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 okay. Red. I don't know what it is, though. Let me Let me do some homework on what it is. He did super chat then. You gotta, you gotta respect the super chats. Is it red the mall? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, this is like a brand new coin. This is like a meme coin. It won't even say what it is by market cap. Yeah, it's up forty percent though. I, I, um. Yeah, I'm not going to look at this one. I, I don't look at coins I'm unsure of. You could be the founder of the coin just trying to, you know, get a clip. That's happened to me before, and I'm super weird. So it's a, it's a new meme coin. Okay. Um, how new, though? I mean, when did it start? I mean, this thing, March 8th. Okay. What what uh, ecosystem is it? Is? I don't really know. Yeah, no portfolio reviews today. They're hit and miss, you know? Uh, I'm not going to make a whole segment of the show because I know a lot of people in the audience have already done it, but I always leave the door open for anyone who wants to. Yeah. So it's on radium. Okay. So it's Solana. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take a look on it. Yeah. Bearish div on FTM. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I, I really think, um, but it is, it is popping though. The good thing about phantom is that it is coming above that level. Like when when a trade's sitting on support resistance like that, this is like I'm still here. I'll actually show you. I'm still like with the short. Like, so the original idea this is why we got to be really patient with these things, right? Because it's gonna come up and try to. I I would say that even if it even if it comes up to here, say it even comes to like 106 or something. I would not be surprised for us to be very close to the reversal point for Phantom. Even if it goes to here and then comes down, like I feel like we're very close to the reversal point. Very close to it. And it, look, it just got rejected again. You know, and also in these situations when people a lot of a lot of people might run a really tight stop, it could come up, hit the stops and go down. So if you want to write a larger stop loss and give yourself a little bit more wiggle room, that makes sense. But yeah, I mean Phantom and look, it's literally coming down as we speak literally coming down as we speak i think this phantom short i might be getting involved like right here right now all right you guys rock i'm getting out of here um i will do a femex tutorial i promise this week promise pinky promise all right smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already my name is aj rice crypto get rich or get wrecked peace